Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are at peace. We have won another war against the League of Non-Aligned Powers. We'll see if they continue to declare war on us whenever possible, but for it won't be possible for a while, so that's for sure. We're definitely going to need to drop off some edicts here, so we're going to drop our... Exotic gases for shield boost, our volatile ammunition, volatile reactive armor, and focusing crystals. Wow, that's laggy. Okay. Well, that takes a while. Good to know. A Grand Fleet is fine for right now, so that is completely okay. We will continue to reinforce our fleets here. And we just went through our planets at the end of last episode, and we were part way through our star bases. But I don't actually remember where we were, and so we'll just start at the beginning here. Most of these up at the top are absolutely fine, and we know that. So most of these do not need to be worked on. Let's see. Astrikian is completely okay. Hadar, yes. Terminal Egress, Ophiel, Azax, these are all good. The Trab Station, the Kasora Station, Raltry is, is still good. It's arguable that it should, it should be moved, but it's fine for now. Gatria, Sheet, yep, those are good. Yelbarasta is still okay. Debux is fine. Erich is okay. Velderom, yes. Tirim, it's okay. Matrios will do. Seglin, yes. Roskin, yes. Ibaka, yes. Cowig, yes. Tremus, that's okay. Unith, yep. Urntok, that's a good one. Nitris, Ulkad, it's... It could be... No, it's necessary. It's straight up necessary. We could build one in Runa, but I don't think there's a huge amount of point in that. The Raskamir station, this one is now unnecessary. So we're going to disband these defense platforms and we're going to downgrade the Citadel. Nikor, I would like to move to Anowin, but I, I think we're okay leaving it there. I'm not going to have a big problem with that. Rakaron is okay. Istrum is fine. Amanyea is okay. Earl is fine as well. Zandabon will need to be shifted over. So we're going to do gun missile and gun missile here. It'll also eventually need to be upgraded to a citadel. For now, we'll leave it be. Because this should notify us that there's an empty building slot there. Cam, we are upgrading. That's fine. That's already underway. The Pala Orlin station here. That one's upgrading, it looks like. Should be fine. And now we're into trade hubs. Now, a lot of these are disconnected, and in fact, this one could be connected up easily enough. We'll just connect that directly to Haven Sky, like so. That'll be fine. Zandabon, this one also connects directly to Haven Sky. There we go. Pala Orlin, this one is actually disconnected, so there's not a lot we can do about that. Our trade hubs should all be fine. We've got these anchorages over here. Apparently, this is not connected to the trade network. I'm not entirely sure why not, but okay, we're going to move that over to Haven Sky. Anahita is not connected, and that makes some level of sense. We will go ahead and connect it up. It's, it's switching over to a uh, Bastion, but that's okay. We're going to hop over to Haven Sky, and what else do we got? There's all these anchorages, and they are mostly fine. And then there's these over here. These are intended to be anchorages. This is going back to be a... Uh, Bastion, because we accidentally, well, not accidentally, but mistakenly downgraded it. And then Ajagin is upgrading. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at our borders then, and see if any borders have changed to the point where we want to build additional stations. There shouldn't be much for change on this border here. Okay, what about in the Azirian Authority? I think we're good here. I tried to keep this pretty similar. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, what about down over here? I'm okay with not having one in Runa. That's just fine. Ibaka is, of course, upgrading. Urntok, Kawig, Uchbea. Hmm, Ajagin. Did we have one upgrading here? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Veldrom, Arich. Yes, those are good. Tirim will hold all three of these. That's fine for the moment. Sheet, Hadar. We should probably build one in short. We'll go ahead and get one going there. Otherwise, I think Enigma's End is okay. Hasella, we could build one in. We'll get that going. 
Debex is fine. Dongle, Azax, Yelp, Rasta. Yeah, this is all good. Okay, so I think we're solid on that front. Next, we need to tick forward here. And we need to allow our alloys to come up a little bit. And yeah, institute the increased benefits. That's completely fine for the moment. We need to see what the month tick ends up looking like. Because we need to see what our food and consumer goods end up looking like here, as well as, you know, everything else economically. So we should be very positive on our energy credits as our fleets start getting back to Haven Sky. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay, 829, 424. We're very low on consumer goods. We should buy in 5,000 for the moment. We're okay on food for now, but we'll continue instituting increased benefits. Let's go ahead and get all of our fleets repaired here. We would like to get ourselves a new fleet going as well. So we're just going to output a Titan here. There we go. And we'll make that be the top priority for the moment here. We're negative on energy credits for the moment, but that should go away as our fleets return to Haven Sky. We are definitely expecting that. So let's go through jobs here real quick. I know that we did this at the end of last episode, so I'm not expecting much here. What do we have? This Agra world, actually. Uh, yeah, we definitely put in an agriculture district. That's a huge deal. Get that built. What else do we have? I mean, we've got a lot of constructions going on over here. A lot of these are not going to be finished for a while yet. That's okay. I mean, we'll get them worked on. Yes, we're going to institute increased benefits, and this is going to hurt our consumer goods, obviously. But that's okay. We should be able to remain afloat. And when is our truce up? Our truce is up in 10 years. Okay, so it's a 10-year truce. Sounds good to me. We're capped out on minerals at the moment. We are back to positive in energy credits. That's very good here. We're going to bump up our buy order here up to, I think, 1,500. And we're also going to buy in 700 food. Okay. So this will obviously put our energy credits negative. That's okay. And we're going to work on getting this balanced. But that's going to take some time. Luckily, we're at peace right now, and that is something that we can do. Yes. We're actually going to back off by 100 on food and consumer goods for right now. Minus 6k on energy credits. That's not hugely surprising, but it is sad for sure. Okay, rising unemployment is a bit of a concern. Ooh, engineer beauty. Uh, we're going to go for the amenities, I think. So we're finishing up a lot of that. Let's hop into the expansion planner here and see, okay, just this habitat. We are already working on that. So that's not a big concern there. So this backs us off to losing 5,000 energy credits per month. Now, I believe we have all of our fleets back at this point. Let's double check that. Yes, they're all in Haven Sky. Okay, sounds good. So we are dropping our energy credit usage a little bit there. We can drop off our buy order of consumer goods a little bit more here. That's a very big deal. Establishing a we will incredibly happily do that. Yes. Okay. We can actually drop our buy order of food as well this month. So this is very solid. We grow ever stronger. Indeed we, we do. There's no stronger. doubt about that. So we're completing a lot of these star bases, and the Ajagan station is, of course, intended to be a defense station. So, no, we're not going to downgrade it. Decline. We're going to upgrade it. There we go. The Chort station we will also upgrade. Pacella we will also upgrade. And Urcanon's Maw we will also upgrade. There we go. Fantastic. Let's check in on our Anchorage status up over here. I believe these are all upgrading to star holds. Yes, they are. We should be able to get two additional fleets made. So I'm actually going to queue up a second Titan here. Get that underway. There we go. No fleets are in need of reinforcement. Hey, they will be eventually. But for right now, that's okay. 
So we're going to need to start queuing up defense platforms here as well, of course. We're going to be capped on alloys fairly soon. Looks like Grumium is good to go. A lot of these are good to go, in fact. Lights End, Kimithar. Okay, we definitely need some on the X941 Singularity platform. We'll queue up a few there, but that's now good to go. Devasa, Astrikian. Okay, Hadar. Sounds good. So we'll get that all queued up. That is now maxed. Terminal Egress will be next. Cool. Ophiel is, of course, next. There we go. That's now maxed as well. Azax is good. Trab is good. Kasora is next. There we go. That's now maxed. Raltree is going to need a little more. We definitely need to sell off minerals here. There's no doubt about that one. We're very negative on on energy credits right now, and that's a bit of a concern, to be sure. The Dongle Station, we will queue up a few defense platforms at. There's rising unemployment, of course. We will institute increased benefits. That's fine. Okay. Actually, here, what we really need more than anything is ion cannons. So, we'll wait for the month tick there. That'll be in just a few days. We're not lacking much here, but we are lacking a little bit. There we go. We'll get those underway, and then we'll call that good for now. We need to focus in on jobs a little bit here. So, let's see what we've got. A whole lot of nothing is the answer. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. This factory world here. This factory world requires jobs, and a lot of them. Now, a lot of these jobs are going to be resettled elsewhere, but for now, we're going to put in civilian fabricators and then alloy mega forges. Just to get as many jobs as possible. We can also potentially build in a generator district. We can drop a sky dome here, and we could put in an energy grid and drop a second sky dome, and we would put in a ministry of production. No, we have one. Never mind. We don't need to drop the second sky dome. So we put in an energy grid here, and that would allow us to build generator districts, like so. That would then max out this world hypothetically. Not 100% maxed, but hypothetically. Okay, so that's all well and good. This generator world here requires some jobs. There's no doubt about that. We are certainly going to put in an energy nexus. And then we are going to put in, we're at minus 30 jobs here. We're going to put in an agriculture district. We're going to put in a city district. And then we will put in a ministry of production. And also we will put in a civilian industry. And then the city district will allow us to put in an alloy production plant there. We also need a second city district, because that will allow us to put in a food processing plant. Hello, Consul. Imagine meeting you here. Okay, let's proceed. Fantastic. So these are underway. They have quite a ways to go, no doubt about that. And we're not really at a point where we can back off on our buy orders here just yet, but we'll get there soon. We definitely want to get the Bonos Starbase upgrading. All of these over here, in fact, upgrade up to Star Fortress. We don't need to go further than Star Fortress, so that'll be fine. Okay. All is looking good here. We're not going to be running into any alloy issues for a while. We're going to be running into energy credit issues eventually, for sure. This generator world could definitely use a planetary capital. We'll go ahead and put that in. We'll also put in cider revitalization centers for now. What else might we need? For the moment, this appears to be pretty much everything. Yeah, that's it for now. Now, are we going to be finishing up construction here? Yes, but we do have more queued up. Okay, sounds good for the moment. Do we get a Ministry of Production here? Or are we not big enough? We're not big enough, okay. Just double checking that. Sounds good. This Forge World requires additional work. And what are we going to do here? Minus 1k? Oh, our buy order stopped. Got it. I was going to say... <laughs> Uh, that's 1.3. Okay, sure. So on this Forge World, 
There's honestly not a lot more that we can do. We have a lot more housing than is necessary. But where can we put those jobs? We could get rid of the hypercoms forums. Or drop the Sky Dome, which would probably be the best way to handle this. We drop the Sky Dome, we put in administrative offices, and we upgrade to advanced research complexes. So that will be in a, a couple more jobs there. And the advanced research complexes will eventually give a few more as well. That'll do for the time being. It's not really going to fix our current economic issues. But those will be fixed eventually. Okay. Now that'll be completely fine. As these get terraformed, of course, some of them are maybe going to be repurposed into aggro worlds. We'll see how that ends up looking. For the time being, I think this is okay. Though we finished up this foundry station here. It needs a lot more jobs and a lot more housing. How much can we actually solve this job problem? Or rather, this housing problem? We could ditch this industrial district and give that a habitation district to help the housing, but that is going to lose us two jobs. And we can upgrade our civilian fabricators and our alloy mega forges. We can also put in something into this open building slot. And what would we want that to be? Commercial zones? Probably commercial zones. And then there's this foundry station here. This is in much the same situation. We absolutely need civilian fabricators and alloy mega forges here. And we're probably going to just have to move employee employees off of here in the end. That's probably going to be what ends up happening there. These worlds will get maxed out and there's not going to be a lot that we can do. But some of them will be okay, like this one. Now, eventually, we're, of course, wanting to make this into an aggro world after it's done with its terraforming. Okay, so that's army health there. Food from jobs might not be the worst idea right now. We'll go ahead and grab that. We will also sell off all of our minerals here to keep us afloat a bit. And we can also ditch our food buy order by a little bit. Now, we're in a lag tick, and that will uh, get wrapped up soon enough. But for the time being, let's go on through here. And see what we've got going on here. Any jobs that we need? Yes, this agro world. Beautiful. Do we want to put in civilian fabricators or an agriculture district right now? Right now, I want the ag district more. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what else do we have? Well, that's it for now. Okay. Well, that'll do for the moment. We are still in this lag tick. I was hoping that this wouldn't really continue to be a thing this long. <laughs> but uh, sure. There we go. Now we're through it. Fantastic. So we backed off on our food order, and that's absolutely great. We're going to continue to do so. And we just lost an envoy. That's not a big deal. Okay, let's check in on these stations here. Okay, so these are going to be finishing up fairly soon, but they're not there yet. Sounds good. We do have a lot of alloys at the moment, so we should probably hop up over here and spend those down a bit. Where were we? Adar, Terminal Egress, Azax. We're getting close here, I think. Asora, Raltry, Dongle. Yeah, Gatria. That's where we were. Okay, sounds good. We're going to queue up a million defense platforms here. Well, technically not a million, but close to a hundred. And yes, this is not going to be particularly good for our energy credits. But we'll get those. Oh, we actually got a uh, payment right there at the end. We'll queue up a few more. Okay, there we go. This is not going to be good for our energy credits in the long run, getting all of these defense platforms built. But it will be good for dealing with the League of Non-Aligned Powers. They have very few options as it is, and their options are just getting worse for attacking us. So that's wonderful. Okay, rising unemployment. Yes, that is to be expected. And let's see what we've got going on Research over here. Complete. This tech world could get a system capital complex upgrade. We'll go ahead and do that. Energy weapons. Okay, we're going to go for energy credits from jobs. 
That will be absolutely fine. And this factory station isn't working on anything at the moment. We're going to put in civilian fabricators and alloy mega forges there as soon as we're through the lag tick anyway. So that'll be fine. I hope Paradox finds what's causing this lag tick. It's not every month. And it's not only at war. But we are on a quest to eliminate lag from the galaxy, of course, and we will manage to pull that off eventually. We have a decent amount of influence, and if we were to make claims, this is exactly the same cost as it would be if they declared on us. We need to remember, though, that if we're doing an offensive war, we're not going to be making claims. That's not something we're going to be doing. We're going to instead be doing a subjugation war. Only defensively will we be making claims. So that is very, very good to know. That Titan is almost complete. So as soon as that finishes up, we'll get a fleet going here. We are in a lag tick here, and hopefully that will wrap up very soon. Um, there we go. 14 days left on this Titan. Sounds good. We are, of course, going to be making two fleets. We're only at 3331 units worth of size right now. And we need to be at 3500 to get that second fleet really fit in there. But that'll be okay. I think we'll get there. We're at 94 out of 98 star bases, so really we could make these into anchorages as well if we really wanted to. And I feel like that would be worthwhile. We'll get those going. Upgrade. There we go. And those will actually queue up as soon as we're through this lag tick, which is taking quite a while. Why is our food so high? In that case, we can cancel our food by order. That's great. We're very happy about that. Minus 180 on consumer goods, though, means that we should bump that up to 1400, and I really strongly dislike doing that. Hey, we're ticking. Fantastic. Okay, so that Titan will finish up in just a moment here. And... There we go. The Titan is made, and that is the Bronze Safit here, as opposed to the Bronzite Safit. That's okay, we will go ahead and hop into the Fleet Manager, and we will add in Battleships, Cruisers, Destroyers, and Corvettes. This will be a standard fleet. And we're going to do 9, 12, and then it is 27, of all things. And then everything else in Corvettes. Cool. So the Bronze is going to be good to go, and we will get that underway. There we go. So we have a couple battleships queued up for it. Battleships take not very long to make anymore. That's pretty speedy nowadays. I like it. Only minus one food. I love it. Our food is in a fantastic situation all of a sudden, and I'm not sure what changed, in all honesty. But we'll allow it. Absolutely. Anything else job-wise that we need? Not at the moment. Okay. Some of these are going to be finishing up soon enough, and star bases have finished their construction queue. So we definitely want to continue working on all of these. We want all of these to upgrade to Citadel. That's the current focus, is getting all of those at least up to a Citadel. So that is fantastic. Did only two of these star bases actually go in? Yeah, this one didn't. And this one didn't as well. Maybe we ran out of alloys? I'm not sure exactly what happened there, why those didn't all go. But now they're going, so that's fantastic. We're going to continue to reinforce this fleet. We need 33,000 more alloys to get that all underway. But overall, that's not too bad. We do need to sell off minerals here. There we go. And let's check in on our new worlds here. So this factory station, we definitely need to upgrade civilian fabricators here. These luxury residences are completely redundant. We don't actually need them. But I think with all of these upgrades, we're probably going to get this pretty close to fully, fully jobbed up. We'll see how that goes. This is a trade station here. Fair enough on that. Commerce megaplexes will go on in. And that's wonderful. 
Okay, and with that, it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to attempt, <laughs> emphasis on attempt, to get our economy a little bit more straightened out. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.